can one tell when they're becoming locked in to a specific goal? The way that I find locked in to a specific goal is the moment when failure no longer becomes an option. When that level is achieved, then your total mindset becomes set on your vision and the purpose that you set out for. So when it's locked in, no matter what the obstacle, criticism, roadblock, or whatever the hell you want to call it, it's in your way, it doesn't matter. Because the whole time it's in your way, all you're trying to do is to look around, to figure out how the hell to deal with it, to get around it, to keep moving forward. Because moving backwards isn't an option, and failure isn't an option. And it's just getting from point A to point B, and being able and ready to deal with any of the bullshit that's gonna stand in your way. Getting locked in to a goal, physical, business, family, or whatever you're looking for, it's, I can't define how to do that. You know, for me, it just, I just keep plugging away at something, and plugging away, and plugging away, and until it happens, you know, it's, it becomes a matter of, you know, motivation is kind of a temporary thing, but sometimes, you know, if you just gotta keep plugging away, if it's training, you may not want to train, or if it's dieting, you may not want to diet, and you may have to try, you know, to get the diet kick started. And God knows, 15, 20 times, you know, training-wise, you may have to, you know, try to, you know, get, get the program situated that you want to do, and it's just not gonna happen. But if you just get your ass in the gym, they do whatever you feel like doing, sooner or later it's going to come together and you're going to get locked into whatever you're training for. Just pain! you got to put yourself in a position for that to happen. So if you never walk in the gym or you never wake up that morning with the intention to train or the intention to diet, well then it ain't never going to happen. So too many people get locked or focused on trying to find the right diet and the right program and that's where they fail because they're trying to get locked in from day one and that's not going to happen for most people. It takes time. The last time I dieted down, I think it took me four weeks. You know, before I, I became locked into the point where I wasn't going to not diet anymore, however you want to define that. You know, business is a little bit different because it's so long term that you have to lock in the little things at specific times because you just can't take something broad like business growth. You know what training is the same. Take ah. things that are a little bit more close to home, a little bit more tangible, ah. and try to strive and shoot for those. <laughs> and then when you get locked into them, as I said, that goal becomes more target. Ah. They're just a fictitious, a fictitious object ah. in, the, in the future. It becomes something tangible, and you want it more than anything else. So you to deal with bullshit associated with it. Where I stand on mental preparation and I guess the only way to answer this, I mean, you did ask me, where do I stand? If you have a goal that you don't, if somebody has to go through all this psychological bullshit to be able to try to lift weights, then what the fuck, you know, where, where's the mind that to begin with? You know, mental preparation, psych, um, uh, visualization, or whatever you're going to use, it all boils down to one thing. You have to do to have the confidence to achieve the goal that you want to achieve. So if you feel visualization is going to help you do that, then by all means, Visualize your ass off. You know, if I, I know people who visualize and they still suck. Uh, you know, I know other people who don't even have the first clue uh, how to go about visualization, mental, uh, or any other mental technique for some of the strongest people in the world. So, 
what are my views? My views are just do whatever the hell you have to do to be able to get the job done. It's, <laughs> it's that simple, you know. It's, Mine! I don't believe it's going to help if you're already a strong person. Yeah. If, you're already, if you're not already a strong person, it certainly can't hurt. So then... Thank you. 